परम पूजनीय स्वामी चिन्मयानंद जी ने एक स्थान पर लिखा है कि सत्य सनातन है शाश्वत है वो समय और स्थान के अनुसार कभी नहीं बदलता ये पढ़कर मैं सोचता रहा कि उस सत्य की अभिव्यक्ति कैसे हो जिसका शरीर नहीं वो कैसे दिखाई दे तब किसी दैवी शक्ति ने मुझे चेतना दी कि सत्य का शरीर है हमारे संत उन्हीं संतों के द्वारा उस सत्य को देखा जा सकता है जो शाश्वत है और सनातन है क्योंकि वो जो कहते हैं उसी में सत्य का चित्रण होता है जिस बात को शास्त्र बड़ी गूढ़ भाषा में व्यक्त करता है संत उसी गूढ़ सत्य को बड़ी सरल और सहज भाषा में कह देता है जो एक साधारण प्राणी पर भी उतना ही गहरा प्रभाव डालती है जितना किसी विद्वान पर परंतु ऐसे संत किसी भी युग में दुर्लभ होते हैं यह हमारा सौभाग्य है कि हमारे ही काल में एक ऐसे संत मौजूद हैं उनका नाम है श्री स्वामी चिन्मयानंद मुझे उनके दर्शनों का और गीता पर उनके प्रवचन सुनने का सौभाग्य प्राप्त हुआ है आज हम उनके आशीर्वचन रामायण प्रेमियों के सम्मुख भेंट करते हुए अपने आप को भाग्यवान समझते हैं और इस कृपा के लिए हृदय से स्वामी जी का आभार मानते हैं जय श्री राम नॉट ओनली वेद All scriptures, really speaking, has is being written in a form, a peculiar literary form called mysticism. It means more than what our ears hear. This mystical literature or the style of mysticism has been not copied by. all of the teachers valmiki is the first master who wrote a sanskrit book a law of red book other than the vedas and when he does wrote ramayan there is deeper significance in ramayan more than the mere story of it vyasa again copied it much later the very same style in writing all the puranas sanskrit is available for this kind of use of words so that while they are declaring the story it also talks to the contemplative student the very philosophy of the vedas the advaita philosophy as we are told in ayodhya yuddha conflict ayodhya where there is no conflict to dasharatha one who has conquered all the 10 sense organs was born the supreme lord shri rama sarve ramanti ti rama Rama means that one who is reveling in every form, that Brahman or the Vedic period, Vedic literature, that Rama is born as a baby. Rama grows up in Ayodhya. The great Lord has not come into this world just to remain in a place where there is no conflict. He must have conflict. the great acharya comes and takes him there to protect the yagyas there afterwards he goes on a pilgrimage along with the teacher and in that pilgrimage he reaches janaka puri there janaka's daughter sita gets married to him is very interesting janaka is the father of sita but who is the mother there appears to be no mother because it is said that his mother he while he was plowing sita came out if through plowing a girl will come out nobody would have ever plowed long ago agriculture would have stopped 
It is the most improbable place from which Sita came. Ultimately in Ramayana, it Lenka, Sita again goes to the Mother Earth. So here is someone who came from no cause and goes back to no cause, and this is called in Vedanta Maya. Does Rama, the Atman, the Self, get wedded to Maya, the non apprehension, and thereafter they both come together to Ayodhya? Once you are wedded thus to Maya, to the ego, you cannot remain in Ayodhya. Conflict must necessarily start. Thus conflict started. He was thrown out into the jungle. Into the jungle or forest means into the forest of the plurality of the world in which you and I are today living and continues. Every incident there is indicating this subjective sign. One moment, the poor little ego, Sita, looked out. So long as she was looking at Ram, living in Ram, for Ram, she never knew the difference between Ayodhya or the Adavi, the forest. One moment, she looked and turned the attention outward, there stands the golden deer, delusory golden deer. This is the condition for all of us. Our mind has turned outward, and this delusory, never I mean, impermanent world of enchantment comes. And once you see that, you don't want Ram, you don't want anybody, I want that golden deer. She got stung by desire. And in order to fulfill the desire, she rejected Ram, sent Ram to go and bring it to me. Rama goes, there the delusory deer is killed, no doubt, but it started crying out, and therefore Sita asked Lakshmana also to go. Lakshmana hesitantly goes, because he was so confident that Rama can never be I mean, uh, vanquished by that uh, delusory deer, but he goes, obeying God. It is at that time, the ten-headed monster, Ravana, comes in in the form of a sannyas, bhikshu. <laughs> See that antithesis, Desharatha in Ayodhya and Deshamukha in Lanka. Deshamukha doesn't mean that he has got ten heads. Absurd. It's a biological impossibility. One neck and ten mouths. The idea is you and I are Ravana. Our attention is constantly turned outward through the ten Indriyas. So extrovert man, pure materialist, mere secularism, extreme power and the progress in the I mean, uh, external material progress, Lusty living for the fulfillment of their life only to hug the objects of the outer world, he comes in a deceitful form. Materialism enters the bosom of a seeker in a deceitful form only. He comes in and takes away Sita, and Sita thus becomes a prisoner in Lanka. Her fall from Ayodhya to Lanka is the fall of man from the grace of divinity into the present condition of sense of guilt, sorrows, agitations, worries, knows no happiness. There he comes to suffer. You and I are Sita now in Lanka. What did she do there? We also have to perform or go through the same discipline. She refused to, to cooperate with the secularism and materialism all around. She said, no, 
And when she said, no, the material world can never touch her, she remained under the Ashoka tree. Shoka Sarup. Ashoka. Not that there is no sorrow, but even though there are sorrows in the mind of you and I, we refuse to recognize. Ashoka remained and continuously started remembering and contemplating upon Ram with a sense of total surrender, recognizing and realizing that terrible mistake that I made, she remained. When you thus remain, you will find that every seeker will get intimations from the Divine, from Sri Ram, that I am come. Hanumanji reaches there, gives her the symbol. Her hopes have increased now. She's confident that he is coming now. There the Sita stays in Lenka, awaiting the arrival of Ram. 